Okay, okay, I got you. We're all right right here, though, aren't we? Now, for safety, they don't want anybody in the front. I'll put my camera down there. No, we won't. Uh, got a boat going down. Yeah. <laughs> Take them out. We can do that. You hit a moving target with that thing? Yeah. Yeah, just gotta lead it. <laughs> Damn, mate. Sure, the little ones. We go to shoot. Their ears are plugged. Okay. Control all the land, he 
color for all the artillery around the world. The Swedish, the Germans, all had red somewhere on their uniform. And even nowadays, the modern army that we have, the artillery in there still has some red somewhere. It might just be a thin pinstriping. Somewhere there's a little bit of red donating artillery. So they have now like a rake, a retriever, trying to hook that out of there. 
Our next tool is called a sponge, and it was made of sheep's wool. They take the wool of a sheep, of course, from the skin, and tack it on there, and they could use that like a dish rag or a sponge, go in, put it in water. The water would put out any fire, and the wool then would be used like a wash rag cleaning out the bore. Again, we don't want any fire in there, so we're going to put in another half pound of powder. And that powder go off over loading, it would be a good thing. So it's dipped in. The British <laughs> call it sponge of bore. There you go. There's the empty part that got out. So now we'll make sure the fire's out and wipe it clean. For a French, a Cuvier. Because we had a little trouble, we're going to do this again. Just make sure we're safe. Sunday. What they would have had in the time print would have been, as I said, linen or silk. There was some cotton, but cotton was very uh, available at the time. So in uh, the English would call this a charge. The French would call it the idea a charge. <laughs> but actually, the way we use it, the French would call it the gagos. So we'll have to handle the gagos, take it to the loader. Now the loader will place it in the bore of the gun. Five, four, three, two, one, Now we have a rammer. Hold it up, Tom. We have a rammer. We want to slide the powder charge to the rear, and then we want to pour it, ram it, so it's nice and tight. It's a two-step operation. Refoule bourré. Refoule bourré. Now, if you're going to fire a cannonball, this would be the time to put the cannonball in. So we can't do that. They don't allow it here. They don't have a there. But we have to be able to set off the charge. So now we need to push the hole and that powder charge needs to go down. So we have a gimlet or a brick. Go down and pierce the back. The British say pierce. This is cool. The British say pierce. The French say per se. Per se, they're No, no, they wouldn't Now we've opened up a pathway to the powder. We need some priming powder, the light, to burn down the bit, to set off the powder charge. We're going to use a quill. Quills were usually used for originally used at the end of a quill off a goose feather. And they would fill with black powder and linseed oil. And after it dried, it was waterproof. They could still keep firing during the rain. We're using a plastic straw for powder on the inside. Plastic because it does not burn. If it shoots out of the fire, it's out before it hits the ground. If a piece is left in, it's not burning. Again, a reason for safety. It's not authentic, no, it's not authentic. In a few minutes, and they'll, so, they'll show you how cool it is. So watch, watch arm, this lady here. Arm, and once they get ready, he'll walk I'm over say, the I'm going to say, I'm going to say, and then he'll put his hand up and say, right, pray. Yeah. French means ready. <laughs> What's the word for uh, fire in French? <laughs> Fur. Think of that fur on an animal. Fur. Fur is fire. In fact, the sneaky French, they kind of sneak a little E in between the U and the R. Just so like fur. So when he's, when I say fur, or fur, fur, that's what we're going to do. That's the time we're going to do. Bernie Linstock will be a band. Touch the boy, you see the rest. Levant. Yeah, we're going to go. 
Put your ears on. Put your fingers in your ears. Here it goes. Hey. Look. Look. Woo! Hey. 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 Hey.